See, Scorpion kills, but he just flops over. A hey, victory for whatever that thing is. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Battle Arena. Well, it has been a hot minute, second month, long time since we have made one of these battle videos. And there has been, uh, let's say, an explosion in the amount of mods that has came out. And with the most recent breakthrough in the game, now people, <laughs> let me just move down the mic a little bit, yeah. uh, now people can actually add their own models and dinosaurs into the game, which don't replace anything. So if you want, you can have a complete vanilla game and then just drag and drop these dinosaurs into it. So, so far, we have, n oh, not going that way, 90 contestants when it comes to this battle arena. So if we click here, we've got 90 out of 90. Now I know there are more than 100 even uh, when it comes to individuals that you can place in, in your game. However, uh, not all of them are great. <laughs> so I've been maybe a bit, may, I've probably missed a few, but I'm looking forward to seeing Balor. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. I don't even know what Balor is. So the, I, first off, we're going to do the usual. We're going to turn off um, all of the uh, the combat uh, frequencies, so they're not going to fight, and we're just going to take a second to have a look and sort of admire the the work that's gone into all these dinosaurs. So give me a hot sec, give me a minute, and let me just uh, release all of these. <laughs> I just saw one. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see that one. That's going to be brilliant. So when you add one of these dinosaurs into the game uh, as like its own separate thing. You actually also can put sound effects, UI, and everything into it. As you can see with this di Diabloceratops right there. Oh, that's the new hybrid! It looks like a hypo, like, Sukumimus from the Isle or something. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. I think I still have the capacity at the moment to uh, have a hundred uh, dinosaurs released all at the same time. Once we get over a hundred, we should be, we should still be okay for a little bit. Yeah, and then we're going back down to those ones. So that should be everything. Yes, yes. It's all releasing. It's gorgeous. Oh yeah, I forgot the Mosasaurus. Oh, we're going to have a blooming, what do we call it? A huge one, aren't we? Okay, so here we go. What's this one? The Batuoceratops. Oh, Okay, well, it's it's the um, the giant bovine. That's right, the more accurate uh, T-Rex there, uh, Albertosaurus. This is a new one, the Tyranno Titan. Uh, we got a Stegosaur there. Uh, what's this one? Zalmoxies! Hello, little Zalmoxies! Oh god, it's so tiny! Oh, bless it! Look at it go! It looks gorgeous! <gasps> it looks like it's got the skin of a Mutaborosaurus from like walking with dinosaurs or something. It looks awesome. We've got a huge chunk Dreadnoughtus. We've got, uh, I'm pretty sure that looks like a Jagged Fangs Triceratops there. Draco Rex, Chasmosaur. Uh, the, of course, one of the first ever uh, separate dinosaurs, the uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. We've got a raptor there, regular raptor. Uh, another Jagged Fangs, uh, Pachycephalosaurus there. The Gallimimus is, of course, still the, the big terror bird. Uh, we, oh, here's the Diabloceratops. And actually, here we go, a Jurassic World Alive Hybrid. This is the uh, Inspindoraptor which I think is just the Spino, Spinorix or whatever it's called in Jurassic World Alive. It's basically the same. Oh, it looks so good. Look at those teeth. Oh, such an edgelord. <laughs> such an edgelord of a dinosaur. Uh, oh, we've got a blue uh, Metrio kind of the source there. The G Gigantoraptor, Gigantoraptor there. Interesting skin. Uh, I think that's its base skin. But hey, there it is actually in the game. An Onata Titan. Uh, one of the biggest sauropods, or sauropods, um, hadrosaurs, I think. Um, was that not a titan in Walking with Dinosaurs? I think it was, but it's just like an Edmontosaurus without a head. And a little bit of change in the geometry there, isn't it? We got the Saltosaurus. Oh, damn! damn boy. Thick boy. <laughs> oh, look at it, so cute. He's scared. Looking for water. Now, I've placed a variety of places for the award. Oh, God, and there's, there's the Mosasaurus. Jesus. Uh, we still got the Taurus, which is that thing. We got the Walker with Dinosaurs Dimetrodon there. Uh, what are you? You're just a regular Mutaborosaurus. They're still coming out. Uh, a, a, an actual Monolophosaurus. Nice. Just by itself here. And a Gojirasaurus. I don't even know if that's a real dinosaur. 
But there it is. It's in the game now. So we got 100. Oh, remember, all of these, it's not like different types of raptors or T-Rex. No, these are all different kind of species. I didn't put the Clydering Indoraptor in. Uh, we got the Moosasaurus. This is one of the most recent ones. Another tiny little, looks like a Hypsilophodon. Oh, God, it's just run under the new Scutosaurus. And this thing. What is this one called? The Dracodentia. Dr Dracodentititan. Oh, it's just, it's just an aisle hypo, what do you call it? Um, hypo sucumimus? I don't even know if it has a call. You're going to turn towards the light so we can see you properly? No. You're going to keep on facing the shadow. Oh, it does, it does look like it. Look at this thing. And this is the Sorofax Agnus uh, Maximus. This looks, I think, I probably butchered that name. I do apologize. I think this looks like... I've definitely seen it before. Is it Planet Dinosaur? Oh, I've definitely seen it. Definitely seen whatever that's supposed to be, whatever it looks like. Uh, the Isle Giga there. We've got a whole bunch. Hopefully I haven't got like dinosaur breakouts. Oh my God, there's just so many. We've got the Indominus Rex there, the Spinoraptor. We've even got Garfield, who is the other Brachiosaurus. So, oh, Diplodocus. Ah, that's what it, Diplodocus is that, the Brachiosaurus. I need to change that, man. I need to change Garfield. <laughs> Spinosaurus there running with, uh, oh, okay, they're, they're, they're both running together. It was like a Fallen Kingdom Allosaurus there running together for the food. Oh, there's another one, the Centrosaurus, another Ceratopsian. Now, I don't know, I'm assuming that they get to choose the um, the attacks, the attack and defense stats of these dinosaurs that they make. Uh, there's Balu! Hello! Little Balu! <laughs> Lame. Oh, he looks so cute. He's got huge eyes. Oh my god, is he terrified? He's panicking. No. Don't ballot. <laughs> and we got the Carithosaurus there. We've got a Trodon. And another one, a what's this? An As Asaberry Sora. Isaberry. Isaberry Sora. Look at it run. Very thirsty. Uh, I will place just a couple more drinking. I mean, the thing is, a lot of these dinosaurs that are panicking will probably not survive. Um, so we'll, I'll put like some, I'll put some water on like the outskirts of the battle arena just so they get a chance to, you know, not die of dehydration. And there it is, the gorgeous Chunk, Chunk Parasaurolophus, yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, I saw it like there's a Super Chunk version as well. I wouldn't get that one, however, because that's, you think this is big? Oh, Lord. Oh, and a newly updated Stegoceratops. Um, now, if you remember, Stegoceratops never appeared in the Jurassic World franchise. However, it did have concept art, um, and it looked more like a Nazutoceratops hybrid. Now, this update, or this uh, this mod, I should say, uh, changes it to make it look more like the concept art. And I actually kind of like it a little bit more. Oh, there's Yoshi. How could we forget? And of course, the Lambosaurus. Um, I think, I, you know, if you've seen Hadrosaurs, you've probably seen this guy. Uh, another mod that's just been added to the game room. We have loads of new mods. It seems like every day there's a new uh, dinosaur that's being added into the game, which is so cool. And I can only imagine, you know, oh yeah, here it is. The first freaking cephalopod in the game. <laughs> oh, look at that's amazing. That's beautiful. Nigel Marvin would be proud. Get off his stupid Nigel. So guys, a lot of these dinosaurs have not had modifications added onto them. In fact, none. They're all vanilla. Um, I kind of want to do this for the first time just to see uh, how a battle, because we haven't done that in a long time, how a battle would look like if they just had regular modifications on them. That being nothing. Okay, so... <laughs> Without further ado, let's commence this crazy battle arena, shall we? And here we go! Who will be the first fatality when it comes to uh, this battle arena? Ooh, you hear that? That was the T-Rex from Dino Crisis. I love that sound effect, man. That's so cool. Okay, so far, first couple of seconds going by, no fatalities. We've got a Mementosaurus just lying down there. Carnotaurus toast! Oh, oh, we've got our first fate, a dead dinosaur, and it is... No, Zalboxes! The, one of the first modern creatures killed by a Deinonychus. A Deinonychus. We've got here, we've got a Nankosaurus facing off against a Is Isaberisaurus. Wow, two modern creatures 
taking each other on. We got five deaths. We got Myasaurus down. We got the Musasaurus down. Uh, I think that's, again, one of the small dinosaurs. We've got a Indoraptor killed the Gallimimus. We've got Ankylodocus killed by the Indominus Rex, the only dinosaur that can actually kill the giant sauropods. Drake, oh, sorry, Stiggy Moloch killed by the new um, hybrid. This, the, the model on this thing looks freaking sweet. Look at that. Look at those teeth, man. Look at it. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Just like a Hypotino I would expect. We, oh, we got... Or an or oranosaur? Yeah, or, or <laughs> oranosaur that taken out. What are oh, the chunky parrots still alive? It hips for days. What else we've lost? Um ooh, Gigantoraptor taking on an Allosaurus killed by the Allosaurus. No! Bless, did it do any damage to Allosaurus? 63, so not too bad. We got more dying here. We got Dilophosaur taken on. Um, what's it called? The Bal Balorus. Balora. Oh, God. I don't know. Balora is not looking too well, but it's not poison. It is, however, starving. That's not so good. We've got a Velociraptor killed by the T-Rex. Oh, I can't believe we missed that fight. So the um, crustacean's still alive. Or whatever you want to call it. I can't remember. I can't think. We've got Pachycephalosaurus uh, poisoned. The what the flip? The Orthonis Oh, Orthonosaurus. No, I forgot to see that. <laughs> Wow, from walking with dinosaurs there. We got the Guanlong taking on the Draco Rex. Uh, what else we got over here? We oh, the Stegoceratops, one of the best um, herbivores, taking on the new hybrid. And it doesn't look like. No, he got taken out. Stegoceratops killed by the silent killer. Does it even have a roar? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know if I heard. Well, it sounded like it did have a roar. We got the uh, Metrocanthosaurus taking on the ankylosaurus which in this case is the sarcosuchus and it looks like oh it's a close one it's definitely a close one we got what's this kentrosaurus kentrosaurus taking on the new uh titano oh tyranno titan oh it looks like yep kentrosaurus taken out by the tyranno titan we started with 90 we now only have 56 dinosaurs oh my god Dinon dinonicus killed by the gojirosaurus i think that is Oh, there's so much death. Alora Titan taken down. The Taurosaurus taken down by the Giga. And now we've got a little square off between those two. They can't kill each other if I remember right. Oh my god. How are only 54 left alive? There's so much dead. Whoa! Majungasaurus killed the Nigerosaurus. No! We got the Balorosaurus. I, yeah, Balora. Balora is uh, is dying. Now. That's a shame. Uh, Spinosaurus still alive. Uh, Trudon dead. Majungasaurus taking on the Triceratops. Um, the 77 against a 45, not looking too bad. Diplodocus still surviving. Uh, oh, have we got these two? We got <laughs> the little sea scorpion thing taking on Vastanosaurus. Oh, it is! No way. No way, it's gonna kill him. The sea scorpion's gonna win. No way. No, sea scorpion killing the King Kong T-Rex. Is it gonna do it? Oh, they're walking around. They're walking around. Oh, he goes for it. I think that's the kill. Sea Scorpion. <laughs> no one could have predicted this. Sea Scorpion kills, but he just flops over. A victory for whatever that thing is. Wow, we got Albertosaur taking on the Sukumimus. Uh, Looks like... Ooh, looks like Sukumimus might win. Dilophosaurus dying. Ceratosaurus killed by... Uh, Indo is that Indoraptor? I think that's Indoraptor. We got another fight over here. Although it looks like it has already been settled between the Monolophosaurus and the Sustictirinus. <laughs> Whatever that thing is. We got another one here. The oh, Baryonyx taking on the huge new hybrid. Oh, we got the Endelon died. We got the Amontosaurus died by the Spinorix. That Jurassic World Alive hybrid. It looks like... Oh, and Baryonyx takes the final bite. Completely killed by the new baryonyx hybrid looking thing goes for a bite and take it out oh hold on we got t-rex taking on the new hybrid the edgelord spinosaurus oh god there's a giga is the t-rex down no t-rex is still in it it looks like the T-Rex has taken more damage, however. Stegosaurus just hiding at the back with 100% health. Uh, 23 versus 48. Looks like T-Rex might win this one. 
And he's done it. He killed him. Get a close up there of the final battle. We got S S S SPS against something. And taking out. But will the T-Rex still have enough energy left to take out the rest of the competition? Lord knows. Is he going to do the raw? You gonna do the raw? He, he, she's, whatever. I don't know if they have, they have genders in this. <laughs> we got the Batu Ceratops taking on a Giga. Although it's, ooh, this is the Pento Ceratops, but it looks like, ah, oh, it's taken out. It's done. We got the Mosasaur taking on the Scutosaurus, both on low health there. Actually, is it the Giga that's doing the raw? Yeah, it's the Giga who's doing the raw. Or not, or not. Maybe it's not. We have now only. 37 dinosaurs remaining, less than half. Scootosaurus against the Acro. Ah, the Scootosaurus taken down. Bless it. Didn't stand much of a chance. Oh, God. Huge mouth. Oh, and a Critonosaurus taken out there by the Tyranno Titan. We got another fight here. Ooh, the Monlavasaurus. He's killed that hybrid that we did the last battle on. The Excavaraptor, which was in a early draft of Jurassic World, I think it was. We got a fight here. Indoraptor taken on. Oh, the new hybrid. Ooh, ooh, we got Allosaurus still alive. One of the favorites, definitely, to win. Allosaurus has won many fights in the past. We've got Majungasaurus taking on the Sea Scorpion as well over here. 38% against 36. Oh, 57 against 21. Is that it? Are they calling that one off? I need to see how this one goes. Yep. They oh, no. Indoraptor killed. No. Sea Scorpion killed a double whammy. You hate to see it happen. Indoraptor taken out there. And then the Sea Scorpion going belly up. No. Right, we need to see where Indoraptor is. That's what, oh, well, sorry, there is Indoraptor. We need to see where Indominus Rex is and to see if anybody can actually challenge this thing's dominion. Oh, look, we got one of these things, the Sakusakusakus. <laughs> against the T-Rex, however, doesn't seem to be wanting that fight, turning away, and 90% against a 65% health T-Rex. It looks like T-Rex might have met his match, but it gets the first by t -Rex. Oh, Spooks. Yeah, Toast was killed by this thing. I'm hoping T-Rex can get some revenge, but with 52% against 27%, it's not looking too good. T-Rex taken out. That's it. T-Rex done. Where is freaking Indominus Rex? Is that it? Oh, Indominus Rex is still kicking. T-Rex taken out by the new... Hi, well, it's a hybrid than you, a dinosaur. The Sakasugusubusubus. That one. The one from Planet Dinosaur. <laughs> I think it's Planet Dinosaur. I'm really not too sure. Saurophagnex. Saurophagnex. Is that it? That might be it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, dying. No. It was doing so well. It just needed some food. Blessed the poor Ankylosaurus or Sarko. Sucus. That's it. <laughs> oh, the Mosasaur taken down by the Giga. Uh, ooh, <laughs> nice number there, Spino. Spinosaurus still not doing too bad. Albertosaurus against the Tyranno Titan, I think it is. This might be their second matchup. Tyranno Titan. Is it Tyranno Titan? Yeah, Tyranno Titan looking much bigger than Albert. And with the 73% health against the 23% it looks like Tyranno Titan is going to win. Yep, there it is, the 1%. Tyranno Titan wins that one. Spinosaurus taking on a 38% Polacanthus. This can only end in one way. And even though this model looks absolutely gorgeous, look at that head. Oh, it's beautiful. It, oh, hold on, it's got some fight left in it. Takes Spinosaurus down to 55%. I don't think that it's... Oh, say that, another hit takes down to 39%. What? I thought it was over for Polacanthus. However, it's holding its own. That is amazing. It's it's losing health. It is starving. Um, trying to keep... Oh, we got... What's that? Indominus Rex. <gasps> Indominus Rex taking out the new hybrid. Although this hybrid's only on 20% and Indominus Rex on 62%. That's the final hit. Oh, it looks like that Spinosaur won that one. But this new hybrid was still no match for Indominus Rex. Now, it could be a case that Indominus Rex was just, you know, in the background, not really minding, well, not really caring, not really getting stuck in. 
And uh, maybe it was tactical. Can we say it's tactical? It looks like the Mosul's going for the, <laughs> the Indominus Rex. But because we know that it's just a Diplodocus, it's not going to win. That it looks like Indominus Rex has the best chance of surviving here and possibly winning. We've got a herbivore corner over here with the herbivore feeder. And all these dinosaurs aren't dying. They're all in 100%. It's a little sanctuary over there. Allosaurus still in it. Majungasaurus desperately trying to cling on. But with that 28% against 53. Majungasaurus needs one more bite in. But I don't know. No, nope, that's it. Majungasaurus is out of the... Are you dead? You, you just sat in a dead body. Okay. Whoa, what happened to the para? No! I never saw my big chunk die. Balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Indominus Rex was busy KOing all of them. No! No! Balora! It did so well to survive to this point. We've got the Giga Thorophagans. Whatever you want to call it. Um, what? Is that Giga taken out? Poisoned as well. I have no idea that the Maximus actually had a poison bite, but it does. Takes it out. Might be how it's winning a lot of its fights. Our dinosaur count, please. 18. Oh, wow. Well over 60 to possibly even 70% of dinosaurs already dying within the first 20 minutes. Well, should I say even like 15 minutes, probably. They're all dead. Spinosaurus picking a fight with the Tyranno Titan. Looks like it could be an even fight. However, uh, Spinosaurus has already just got a bite off and it's still got less health than Tyranno Titan. Looks like Spinosaur is going to die and Tyranno Titan might have the best chance here. <gasps> Ooh, I like that Triceratops sound effect. Oh, Stego. It was the Stego from the Lost World, like the movie. That sounded awesome. Garfield dead. Killed by Indominus Rex. We got, what, what else? Camarasaurus dead. Killed by Indominus Rex. <laughs> yeah. So Indominus Rex was just doing that. Dilophosaurus starved to death. No. And one of the, again, it only took like one dinosaur to have poison. And there you have it. It just slowly killed all the other ones. The Ehrlichosaurus, known as the, well, the Apatosaurus, also uh, killed by Indominus Rex. The Spino and the Spinosaur hybrid there. Both dead. Tyranno Titan looking in very good health. 77% is still alive and kicking. Looks like the Mosasaur might be lining itself to be killed by the Indominus Rex. Yep, that looks like what might be happening here. Yep, yep, that's that's exactly what's happening here. Oh, we get to see the Mosasaur die in slow motion. Or like a close up. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? Here we see the Mosasaur gliding ever so gracefully. Oh, another dinosaur poisoned. Oh, and there it goes. No! Mosasaur take a look at him with his big Buddha belly. And down it flops. <laughs> Dominus Rex uh, taking its revenge on the Mosasaur. We must have that Sarco. Yeah! The Maximus taking on the Allosaurus. Also transferring its poison to it. Maybe it's going for one of the fan favorites deliberately. Weakening it, getting it out of the way. Well, oh, look at that. That looks so cool. I love that model. It's nice and it's like slim, but it looks strong and muscular. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, but the Allosaurus, thick and broad. Is it be it, will it be able to kill it? Oh, they call a truce and that's exactly what Maximus wants because that Allosaurus now with its 29% uh, health, also poisoned, is probably going to die. Um, I very rarely see a dinosaur survive and there it is, dying. That's it. 28% health is unfortunately not enough to save it. And I even think in some cases, if a dinosaur's poison, it just dies. Um, oh, what? Have we got... No. Oh, it's oh, it's taking a, taking a quick break there. A tactical nap next to its dying dead foe. Oh, Indominus Rex on another rampage, taking on the Dregnortus, another Chungmungus. <laughs> Killed. Taking that count now to 14. Five of them. Or six of them, I should say, are herbivores. The arena looking very thinned out right now. Oh, we got a pterosaur. Oh, that's what your class... Oh, he's got a hundred... He recovered a hundred... What? He was on 77% health now. No wonder this thing's surviving. Maybe it just has massive rare regeneration. But it looks like it's going to be between Maximus, Indominus Rex, and this Tyranno Titan. Both or all three have been strong from the start. Maximus also has the poison, however, which means that if it comes down to a 1v1, that guy needs to end in a stalemate. 
Oh, here we go. Hunt Indominus Rex taking on Toronto Titan with a 63% in the first bite. This could be it. This could be the one, the battle to end all battles here. I don't want to spoil it, but that's 60 odd percent. Whew. That was a big one. It wasn't a 40. Now, if, they, if a dinosaur gets down to 45% in one bite, means they don't stand a chance. Don't know what the 60s mean. I think the 60s mean they're probably very even. Neither of them have venomous bites, which is good. Oh, going for the second hit on the, with the Tyranna Titan and Indominus Rex surviving. Uh, how about this guy? Oh, the tiltage. <laughs> Both look like they survived the second hit. A third one coming in from Indominus Rex and takes it out. Toronto Titan looked so good there, both with 100% health, but I don't think Indominus Rex came out of that unscathed. I think Indominus Rex definitely lost a lot of health there. Took two hits. Let's have a look. 48%. Uh, oh my god, what did we just miss? Sinoceratops killed Maximus. No, how did I miss that? No way. Take it out. Oh, the venomous bite didn't even get off a single bite on Sinoceratops leaving Indominus Rex wherever he is. Wait, wait, did he just run away? Leaving Indominus Rex to take on the rest of the herbivores. Now, <laughs> what was his health? What is he? Uh, 95 attack, 45 defense against 59 attack and 31 defense. It should not have won by any stretch of the imagination. However, it was on low health and he was on 100. So we got a 54% Indominus Rex here. Slowly, of well, I say slowly, very quickly regenerating its health. Now, if Indominus Rex manages to get up to like 100%, he's going to be able to easily kill the rest of the remaining herbivores without, you know, any sign of a struggle because he's going to kill one, maybe take a hit. But by the time the next fight happens, it's over. And Dominus Rex coming over here to Sauropelta and Giga Spinosaurus. Both dinosaurs don't really have great attack stats. I think the best one at the moment is a 75 Stegosaurus. Or, oh, in fact, the weakest is the Sauropelta right here. And I'm wondering whether he's going to pick the fight between the Sauropelta. If he does, he's a coward. Eupocephalus, yep, the best one here is the Stegosaurus. However, at the moment, the Stegosaurus is having a nap. He really needs, like, that's what needs to happen right now. If the Indominus Rex is going to die, the Stegosaur needs to wake up, which it is doing, and needs to engage the Indominus Rex. However, it looks like... Gigantospinosaurus might be doing... No, he's going to run away. 68 against 21. Stegosaurus, 75 against 24 is really the best one here. However, Indominus Rex still gaining the health. It's gained over 10% at the moment on 67%. Doesn't look like this battle is going to end any other way than Indominus Rex winning. Down to the final nine dinosaurs, I should say, and eight of them herbivores, one Indominus Rex. We got a Hyungosaur, Cyanoceratops, Stegosaur, Eupocephalus, Sauropelta, Giganospinosaurus, and a Centrosaurus. Oh, hold on, a Chasmosaur. I did not see him. 54, still not as good, but it is going for the unknown, the Centrosaurus, the last remaining modern dinosaur. And will it have enough to take on a 60 odd percent Indominus Rex. Oh no, Indominus Rex goes for the first hit. But can Centrosaurus or whatever it's called. No, that's it. That's a 45% hit. And finally to a 1%. That's it. Game, set, match there. Unfortunately, Centroceratops did not have enough. 42. Oh, no. No. Now, by the time Indominus Rex fights the Stego, even if it gets to the Stego, it's going to have 100% health. Oh, uh, that was it. That was the final chance. 74% health. The Stegosaur, nowhere to be seen. Where is he? There is a very minute chance that the Stegosaur can put a dent into the Indominus Rex at this point. It does have 78% health, but by the time the fight starts, and like another fight, it's going to be on 90%. And Stegosaurus, wherever that boy is... I mean, what do we got? We got 75 against 24, and Indominus Rex is 116 against 48. Double, exactly double the defense and attack genes. Why is there 14 extra? 
I didn't think that I would have, but even with that 40%, I don't think that's made much of a difference. Oh, there was one on. There was one on. I don't know really how much of a difference that would have made. Um, it was only the Tyranno Titan, uh, which had a distinct difference. So 101 against 34. Um, let's have a look. They were both on 100% in Dominus Rex. Uh, minus 14. It would have been a lot closer, but Indominus Rex would have just had the edge. And in the second fight, it could have actually made a difference because Indominus Rex would have been on lower health now. If it did, if the battles went the way they did and he chose to fight against Centrosaurus, I highly doubt Centrosaurus would have won and battle would have went exactly the same. Of course, butterfly effect, you never know these things. Chaos theory. Um, but yeah, looks like Indominus Rex is the victor. And within the next 10 to 15 minutes, we'll slowly but surely kill off the remaining herbivore. So Indominus Rex wins a close second, however, goes to the Tyranno Titan. And then the third place goes to, I would say, Allosaurus, because he's the last one remaining, but he died of poisoning. <laughs> I would say third place goes to... Uh, the Maximus Sarafa. <laughs> that one. Can't even remember what it's called. That one. You win the third place. Because it made it. It basically killed Alasaur. And unfortunately, it got killed by uh, Sinoceratops. So, there you have it, guys. That was the biggest, I think, uh, battle royale that we have ever had on the channel when it comes to diverse species. And you can bet the next one will be even bigger because there will be even more mods. Oh, in Thomas, what are you doing? <laughs> basically went all the way around. I'm so sorry. You've got to slowly walk your way to the battle place to then die. So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.